What's going on YouTube? Geosnoid here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 12.2, 12.1.4, 12.3, 12.3.1 12 jailbreak. The substrate or Cydia substrate has been confirmed working on iOS 12.2 and newer by Pound to Own just a few hours ago. He posted quote, just verified that Cydia substrate is fully functional and works without any changes on pre-jailbroken installation of iOS 12.2 with Corellium's awesome emulator environment. It's really amazing how powerful and well-made Cydia substrate is. Now this is actually pretty big news because this means that once a TFP0 exploit is out for 12.2, 12.1.4, 12.1.3 and so on, we do not need to update anything like Cydia or Cydia Substrate, which is already saving us a lot of time. An update to fix compatibility issues with Cydia Substrate can indeed take a lot of time, especially since Soric is no longer working actively on Cydia Substrate. And of course, Cydia Substrate is not open source, so patching and you know fixing various problems with the compatibility might be very, very hard or close to impossible if Soric doesn't fix them. So to see the fact that Cydia Substrate is functional and it works without any changes on iOS 12.2 and of course 12.1.3 and so on with the Corellium is actually pretty good news. Because as I said, this means that once we get TFP0, we have just a few things to figure out and we can get a jailbreak working, at least for the pre-A12 devices. Now I know that the substitute is a thing, but substitute is still in its infancy and it's still not as well developed as CDS Substrate is. It did get better with the uh, Chimera jailbreak, but unfortunately Coolstar and his team did not publish their version of the uh, Substitute, so we do not know exactly what they changed and what they did. So if anybody else other than the Chimera team wants to build a jailbreak, they will not be able to use that substrate, they would have to go with the public version, which is very, very outdated. Now, in terms of the best version, Pound to Own recommends exactly what I recommended in my previous video. If you're running iOS 12.1.3 to 12.2, stay there, it's a very, very good range. And if you're running iOS 12.3 or newer, make sure you downgrade to iOS 12.3. Now, in terms of how they did test it, they basically used Corellium. Corellium is an emulation system that allows us to run proper iOS and of course jailbreak it, even though there is no jailbreak for iOS 13, 12.4, 12.3.1 and so on. So I can definitely go ahead and here I'm running iOS 13 and as you can see I have CDI in here and I can test tweaks, I can test the CDI itself if it works and stuff like that, which is actually quite good. That's how Pound to Own figured out that it works and is still working fine so once we get a TFP0 exploit it will be very easy to basically just create a jailbreak without having to deal with updates to Cydia substrate this is actually quite good so yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe to stay updated I am Geosnow until the next time peace out